as a DJ on WBGU and Falcon Radio, you immediately have access to an entire day's worth of content via your playlist tool. So if I click on the playlist button here on the right-hand side of Presenter, this opens up the playlist and everything's scheduled for the entire 24 hours of today. And I can scroll through and look at different times of the day by selecting AM or PM and the time of day. Um, but what's interesting is if, if I do that immediately, scroll down, it automatically pops back to, to where I am in currently in that playlist. It doesn't stay where I scroll to, and that's because my position is locked. You see that here? It's sort of like a fail-safe um, to make sure that you kind of like stay where you need to be unless you really want to go somewhere else. You'll also notice that uh, what's highlighted in green is the song that's currently playing, the keys, Sleepy Sun. And then everything in blue is the other things that are loaded into your active playlist. So you know exactly what's uh, you know, already scheduled and going to be running soon. But if I, again, want to scroll ahead later on into the, into the day or the hour or something, I first need to unlock my position. And then I can scroll through to later on in the day. And I won't immediately get like knocked back to the current time. So I can go through here and select a, a certain song at a specific time of day and listen to that off the air if I wanted by auditioning. I could d delete something. Um, or what I could do, which, which I think you might find useful to yourself if you come in here maybe 10, 15 minutes early for your show that say starts at uh, 4 p.m., which would be 1,600 hours, right? Um, I could down here on the bottom side look at my library and say, oh, well, you know what, these things have been scheduled by programming, but that's not exactly the songs or the, the way my show actually goes. So I can go through here and say I'm picking punk songs for the day. I can just drag and drop into the playlist uh, for these things to, to play back later on this day. So I'm just adding these things in here uh, and just sort of pushing everything else in the playlist down a little bit. Um, so that's an easy way where you can sort of uh, modify the playlist uh, for, you know, the current day. Uh, one thing you want to make sure is that you eventually, when you're done making the changes, lock your position again. The playlist will pop itself back to the current time, um, and that's exactly where we want to be all the time. Uh, so that's a quick overview of the playlist function within Presenter.